I'm a 25-year-old male and I've been married for two years now to my childhood sweetheart, 24. She has always wanted kids, but I have never been very enthusiastic about the idea, knowing the current situation that has been going on in my family. She has no idea about this, however, which is what prompted her to make a very naive mistake on my 25th birthday. My wife had always been a very motherly person. Her maternal instincts shone through whenever she would attend to the kids of our extended family or interact with her own students, as she is a kindergarten teacher. She's the kind of person who instinctively knows how to deal with kids and how to make them listen to her and follow what she's saying. This is a gift that most of our family envies her for and honestly admires in her. Her deepest wish has always been to have a child of our own, something which I wish I could give her, but there's a very difficult situation going on in my family, due to which right now is not the proper time to consider kids. I always make sure she's on her pills to reduce the risk of unwanted pregnancy. On my 25th birthday, my wife had invited all of our relatives for a huge celebration, saying that she has a surprise for everyone. Most of our relatives who had been invited did come, and it was overall a very enjoyable affair. At the end of the party, however, everything started to go south, as she announced that she had really special news for everyone. She announced that she had been pregnant for a month and was waiting for the perfect opportunity to announce it. She was on her pill the entire time, but somehow the pills failed and she got pregnant. My sister stood up at once, claiming that she had never expected us to be so insensitive and frankly hurtful towards her. My wife was very confused because she hadn't been told the reason why I didn't want her to get pregnant yet. My sister has no idea about this, and so she told us to never contact her again. My parents were furious at us and told us that they had expected to enjoy today, not be humiliated. My wife was getting angry by now and couldn't understand why everyone was blaming her for getting pregnant and announcing it. The party ended on an extremely disappointing note as everyone left in a bad mood and we were told to never contact my sister or her husband ever again. My parents warned us to make amends or we would never see them ever again. My wife was frustrated at this point and started shouting at me, asking me where she went wrong. She had expected that, like any other family, ours would be overjoyed at the news of her pregnancy. She had realized by now that I was hiding something from her, and she didn't like it. I promised to talk to her about it later. I opened up to my wife about the problematic situation that has been going on in my family. I told her why my sister was so upset when my wife's pregnancy was announced on my birthday. So my sister has always wanted to be a mother as well. However, fate wasn't too kind to her. She got pregnant recently and everyone was happy. We had decided to tell the extended family, including my wife, after a few months. However, things didn't turn out well. A few months later, the doctor told us that the baby would be stillborn. And since there were complications with the pregnancy, my sister would never be able to get pregnant again. She was shattered, first at losing her child and then at the prospect of never having a child ever again. Of course, adoption is an option, but she really wanted a biological child. This incident had happened only a month before my birthday. My sister has become a shadow of the person she used to be. She stopped going out, responding to texts or calls, and even talking to me. She would only cry or stare numbly all day. She would tell her husband that her child had realized that she was going to be a bad mom, so her child decided to never be born to her. It took her weeks of therapy to return to even a semblance of who she used to be. Coming to my birthday party was supposed to be a kind of distraction for her, not something that reminded her of her own loss. My wife was speechless after I told her the entire thing. She felt extremely guilty for triggering my sister in this way because they had always been the best of friends. She blamed me for not telling her about this before because if she did, then we wouldn't have been in this situation. She would have known to not mention her pregnancy in front of my sister and would have even tried to support my sister through this hard situation. Honestly, I see my wife's point, but since 
this had turned into a tragic situation, I didn't want to tell my wife before my sister could. I wanted her to be the one to give her own news. I thought I would be betraying her a bit by telling my wife when she wasn't supposed to know in the first place. My wife didn't agree with my reasoning and told me that she was technically a part of the close family since she was my wife. By excluding her, I was claiming that she was not a part of the family. This resulted in a huge argument between the two of us and she took some time off to get some air so that we don't say anything we regret. I still don't see how any of this could be my fault. My wife came home and asked to speak to my sister. I told her it wasn't a very good idea. She was offended with my wife, but she insisted, so I told her, go ahead. She called up my sister to apologize. My sister picked up the call after multiple tries and told her off for bothering her. She scolded my wife for creating such a painful situation for her, knowing that she had just gone through a traumatic journey. She had never expected this from my wife. She could understand my wife not being supportive of her during the entire situation but she had expected her to act more sensitively. She was proud of the fact that my wife was going to conceive, but she wasn't ready to forget all the hurt and loss bubbling within her. My wife calmed her down in a way that she had always been able to do. She apologized to my sister, telling her honestly that she had absolutely no idea that my sister was going through so much pain. She told my sister honestly that I had never told her that this was the current situation which they were facing. Had she known that my sister was going through so much trauma, she would have rushed to be at her side. She would have even stayed with her until things were better. She regretted not knowing that my sister was hurting so much and she felt apologetic for the scene she had created unwittingly at my birthday. My sister was surprised to hear that my wife had no idea about the entire situation. She had expected that I would at least tell her the brief details about what had happened, seeing as everyone else in the family already knew. Now, my sister had stopped blaming my wife, but she blamed me instead. Both of them were of the opinion that all of the misunderstandings could have been avoided if I had simply been upfront with my wife. I told them both honestly that I had no idea whether telling her about this would be proper or not. My sister instantly scolded me, telling me that if everyone else knew that not telling my wife was simply me disrespecting her as a member of our family. My wife agreed and said that she felt hurt when I didn't tell her anything about this and she found out after messing up. I saw their points and agreed that perhaps I should have been the one to tell my wife to avoid all of these confusions. I was just happy that my wife and my sister had made up and understood that this was a simple misunderstanding. Both of them are still angry at me, but I am sure they'll forgive me after I make amends. Now the bigger problem is trying to convince my parents that my wife had made a genuine mistake and didn't intend to offend anyone. I hope it goes well. My wife called up my mother today to apologize to her. My mother was extremely cold towards her, first asking if my sister had forgiven her yet. She responded in the affirmative, and only then my mother agreed to hear my wife out. She told my mother how it was a misunderstanding, and she had never been informed that my sister had lost her baby. Had she known, she would have supported my sister throughout. She had always been my sister's best friend, so why would she ever want to hurt her feelings now? She was even sorry about getting pregnant in the current scenario when my sister would be able to be truly happy for her. She apologized to my mother honestly, claiming that she never intended to humiliate her in any way. She was almost reduced to tears at this point. My mother was genuinely shocked to know that I had not told my wife about my sister's stillbirth. I got an earful from her about how these kinds of things should always be shared with the wife because she's also a part of the family. She was furious with me for not telling my wife anything. She assured my wife that she had nothing to apologize for. She was really happy about her pregnancy and the prospect of a grandchild. The situation was not the best, but we could make the best out of it, and she was excited about the pregnancy. She even apologized to my wife for being angry without knowing she didn't intend to hurt anyone. Honestly, at this point, I'm just glad that everyone made up. 
they're still angry at me and I understand why, but it took courage for my sister to accept my wife's pregnancy so happily the way she did. And I respect that. I feel for the wife. She had no idea why everyone was so angry with her. She was just happy about her pregnancy and wanted to share the news with everyone. OP should really practice being more open with his wife because that seems to be a foreign concept to him. I hope that a lesson has been learned from this incident, OP. Honestly, this seems like a series of misunderstandings rather than anyone's fault. I'm happy that everyone got to know the truth in the end, but I feel for OP's sister. Imagine losing your child and then seeing your brother and your best friend enjoying parenthood. I'm the oldest of five. I'm 19 and my two sisters are 14 and 7. I just recently started a new job and finally have a bit of spending money for myself. I deal with low blood sugar on occasion or I get very hungry thirsty in the night. So about a month ago, I bought a little cart to keep in the corner of my room and filled it with snacks, some drinks and other basic essentials lotion, extra chapstick because I'm always losing mine, etc. My siblings are freaking vultures when it comes to food. Anytime there's some sort of snack they like, they will eat it back to back like chain smoking until it's gone. Then blame each other when there's no more. Hence another reason why my snack cart is in my room. I had just restocked the cart and was noticing things disappear from it that I knew I wasn't eating since it normally takes a while for me to make a dent in my stash. I confronted my siblings, my two brothers admitted and apologized, while my sisters claimed innocence. I let it go, but snacks were still coming up missing. I snooped in my sister's room, found wrappers, bottles under their beds. I was irritated and wanted to catch them in the act, so next day I pretended to leave for work, snuck around through the back door and waited in my closet to catch them. It took a while and I almost gave up when I heard my door open and heard the older sister directing the younger sister on what snacks to take. I came out of my closet, having caught them in the act, and frankly, I was pissed. I yelled a bit and kicked them out. They tried to come back into the room to reason with me and wouldn't leave, so I used one of my giant stuffed animals to block them back outside the door. My baby sister got really upset and cried, while the older sister said I was being an ass over it. My mom ended up giving me crap about it, saying I needed to bring my snacks downstairs because anything food-wise you bring into this house needs to be shared, which I find hypocritical given she keeps her favorite snacks in her room where my siblings can't find it. I feel bad for getting angry over something so trivial and childish. I'm the oldest and should be setting examples, yet here I am mad over snacks. AITA for yelling and kicking them out. W-I-B-T-A, if I barred them from my room and locked the door when I leave the house? For everyone who had mentioned it, diabetes is common in my family. My brother is type 1 and my dad is type 2. I started dealing with low blood sugar shortly before my doctor told me I was high risk for diabetes as well. I try to keep healthy snacks or things high in sugar or protein when I need it. Also, I pay a decent amount of rent. I'm still trying to finish school and can't afford to live on my own. I have a lock on the door, but my siblings had taken the copy I'd given to my mom in case of emergencies. I'm going to change that lock again and have a serious talk with them later. Tell your mom you'll share as soon as she does. Hypocrite. NTA. NTA. But by the time it got to trying to catch them, you should already have had a lock installed. Get a lockable unit to store your snacks and save up to move out. If they're yours and you pay for them, your parents are being ridiculous to suggest that you've got to share them around, especially if they claim it doesn't apply to them. My sister, 35, is getting married this summer. For the sake of total transparency, I'm considering not attending because we had a fight, which led to mostly no contact, with the exception of seeing her once and then her reaching out to me regarding the topic of this post. A couple of years ago, and I don't expect anything to change. Despite us not being close, she reached out and asked for our oldest daughter to be in her wedding as a junior bridesmaid come older flower girl. Just the oldest girl. We have five kids. Her relationship with my kids, specifically my two daughters, is part of the reason we fought in the first place. She was all about how cute, pretty, sweet, and adorable the oldest is, and just generally fawned all over her, 
while never ever paying that kind of attention to my youngest daughter or my boys. I asked her to stop. I reminded her that the other kids could hear and so could my oldest and didn't want her to place all her value in how she looked. But my sister refused to stop. My final straw and what led to our fight was my youngest straight up asked her if she looked as pretty and my sister ignored her entirely and kept saying how pretty my oldest was. I took her aside and told her she was not being kind with all of those comments. She argued back that my oldest is the one who will be admired for her looks her whole life and we need to learn to accept that. I told her she had used her last chance and to leave my family alone until she can realize how wrong she is. This is the reason I'm not even sure we'll go. But her asking for my oldest to be in the wedding set off alarm bells that she will pull the same crap and might even go more overboard because she'll get to decide how she dresses and what her hair would look like. I said no without considering it. To me, it just feels icky given the context. My sister is mad and my parents think it's wrong to deprive my oldest of the choice because I never asked her if she'd like to. My sister said her wedding day would be perfect with my daughter there and I'm spoiling it and punishing her for petty reasons. AITA? NTA, I honestly struggle to understand why you would even consider going or letting your oldest go. OFC, I know why toxic families can wrap reality in all kinds of wild ways, but from the outside, it seems like a clear-cut run for the hill situation. This behavior would be so easy for your sister to just not do if she had the tiniest scrap of respect for you and your children. It absolutely can screw up your kids, including your oldest, to be treated like this, and your gut feeling is right. NTA, your sister has even said she only cares about the oldest. I fear for her own children if, when she has them. I would vote not going to the wedding at all. Send a gift and take all your beautiful children to something fun. It might seem petty for some people, but your kid's happiness is more important than her special day.